Hello, Aku here again. Um, I'm going to make another little video here. This is the first in a little mini series, I guess. I'll be making on tips and tricks to make your life a little bit easier when playing Feed the Beast. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff coming into my sorting system here. I've got um, tesseracts feeding into relays, feed stuff into barrels, or using. I'm not actually using a sorter at the minute. I'm just using. I'm using a sorter on my recycler input, but everything else I'm using filters. So you can see, just put in sand and appetite, making fertilizer, and various other things. So what what happens when this gets full? Well, if there's nowhere for anything to go, it ends up going through this restriction tube. Oops, super speed there. This restriction tube into this catch pot, if you will. So uh, anything that's not got a home, so at the minute I've got bricks going into there because uh, I'm quarrying a uh, forested, I think a forest island, so there's clay, the clay is getting made into bricks, ends up in there. If this gets full, then my system would stop, the quarries would all start overflowing, chucking stuff all over the floor. We don't want that. The farmers, the uh, the tree farm outside, will start overflowing. That will start going all over the floor. We don't want that either. So I built a little system hidden by hidden behind these facades that just cuts the power. So I'm going to break this. Unfortunately, with facades, when you break it, it breaks what's underneath it. So just have to smash that a second. And as always is the case, one's fallen down. I'll just. Place that. Well, cobblestone structure pipe is the first thing we need. That's just a cobblestone pipe and a bit of gravel, I think. We have that so it's touching the chest. Add on an attack it get, which I love these, I use a lot of them. And that just wants to be set to inventory full redstone signal. So, what that'll do is whenever this chest gets totally rammed, it'll put the signal on, which will trigger this howler alarm just so I know there's something wrong as soon as I log on and it'll also activate this wireless transmitter well, that's set to frequency 2002 private frequency which you can set later but that's a different that's something, that's something else to look at using sniffers and um, that sets 2002 and that has a receiver down in the sub basement that I'll show you in a second uh, so to simulate it I'll I'll change the condition there to space and inventory. You see, that's come on, and so is that. I'll just break that for the video's sake. So if I logged on and my system was backed up, as soon as I logged on, I'd hear the alarm. I'd know there's an issue that I need to deal with, or if I've been somewhere else and come back, I know there's an issue. The transmitter's gone on. You'll see that that should stop everything. Why you no stop? The quarries do carry a bit of stored energy. So there is a little bit of overflow. You see the, the sand stopped coming from the... There we go. So the sand stopped coming from the tree farm outside and now the quarries have stopped. So we've got no input there. If I just run down to the sub-basement, you can see what's happened. So this is my sub basement, my boilers feed, that's the boiler control system there that I may show later date. The boilers feed into here, this is the receiver, um, I'll show you the recipes for these real quick. Wireless transmitter, transceiver, obsidian stick, that's just two bits of obsidian um, on top of each other. Some stone wafers and wires and stuff, pretty straightforward. Uh, the receiver is just the same but it has a, a ball, a dish around the Transceiver, transceiver, the transceiver is pretty straightforward, a stick and a wreath of pearl, wreath of pearl, end of pearl, glowstone, redstone. Easy enough. Very nice little bits of kit. What that does, triggers this redstone with this red power wire. These two energy conduits, um, energy cells, my texture pack's a bit messed up there, are set to 
signal low, so when they get a high signal, it cuts the power. These fasten these are attached to any of the which is probably my quarry on this side and my farms on this side. So that cuts the power, stops them producing. So we get no jams in the system. So I think that about covers it. So if we change this condition back to inventory full, you see that's gone out and you see items start coming in again immediately. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!